I'm John Green, and this is Crash Course World History. Today we're going to be talking about cults. No, not those cults. These cults. Oh, be from the past. Mr. Green, Mr. Green, are we talking about the Indianapolis cults? I love rep in the Midwest. Oh, me from the past. Oh, that was the stage when you wanted to grow your hair out. Bad idea. But no, we're not going to talk about the Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> that is a football team. Now, what is the definition of a cult? Let's go to the thought bubble. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a cult is a system of religious or spiritual beliefs, especially an informal and transient belief system, regarded by others as misguided, unorthodox, extremist, or false, and directed by a charismatic, authoritarian leader. Followers of cults share these religious or spiritual beliefs and have been regarded as misguided. Today we're going to be talking about three major cults. Scientology, the Branch Davidians, and People's Temple. First, Scientology. Scientology was created by L. Ron Hubbard. It is considered a religion in the United States, Spain, Portugal, South Africa, Italy, and Australia. However, countries such as Canada, France, Germany, and the UK do not recognize Scientology as a religion. Scientology teaches that people are immortal beings who have forgotten their true nature. It also says that human souls, or thetans, are reincarnated after you die through a process of assumption. They believe your, thet your thetans have many other lives on different planets before they reach Earth. Scientology is criticized because its member members often have to pay thousands of dollars for religious services and rituals. Many people consider it a cult that defrauds and abuses its members. Scientologists also believe that you must relive painful experiences to let go of your sadness. Oh, are you time for the open letter? An open letter to Tom Cruise. But first, let's see what's in the secret compartment today. Kool-Aid. This better not be laced with cyanide, Stan. Why Scientology? I mean, really, what about Scientology makes you want to join it? They take your money to pay for religious services. Granted, you're a millionaire actor, so money isn't really a problem for you, but still. Taking thousands of dollars for religious services is just not cool, and it kind of makes me not want to trust that religious institution. Also, according to People Magazine, Scientology ruined your marriage with Katie Holmes. Apparently, you made Katie stop going to Catholic Church and be brainwashed into Scientology, which caused her to file for divorce and take your daughter away and enroll said daughter into Catholic school to get her as far away from Scientology and you as possible. I mean, you think after all that you really wouldn't want to be a Scientologist anymore, right? Best wishes, John Green. Oh, Scientology. But now, more important one, People's Temple. People's Temple was founded in 1955 by Jim Jones. The religion was created to hide its communist and socialist ideas and other motives. It distinguished itself from other cults by having overly political messages. In 1954, Jim Jones started his own church at a rented facility in Indianapolis called Community Unity Church. Stan, we live in Indianapolis, and I guarantee you that it's not here anymore, so no need to fear. In November 18th of 1978, Jim Jones relocated his church to Guyana. They rented 3,800 acres of jungle property in Guyana, South America. Jones encouraged the people to, to have suicide murder and was the greatest single loss of American civil civilians before 9-11. 920 people died. This major mass murder-suicide was all created by Kool-Aid. Jim Jones encouraged his followers to lace their Kool-Aid with cyanide. Over 920 people partook in this. It's, as soon as they started to take the poison, the effect started within five minutes. This would be the only cause. However, when police entered the scene, they found many bodies with different syringe wounds and other gunshot wounds. So really, we don't know the real cause. Now, another cult that had major killings at the end, the Branch Davidians. The Branch Davidians was a religious group that also started in 1955. It was formed from a schism in the Davidian Seventh-day Adventist Church, a form of it that also came off of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, which are also known as the Mormons. The majority that accepted the, the reform liked the adherent teachings of the new leader. They had many beliefs in common with the Masonic Judaism. At the end
the end of this, there was a big siege in Waco, Texas, where the followers were said to have had firearms in their complex. Federal FBI agents attempted to end the siege, but after three helicopters and a possible raid in 51 days, the FBI assaulted the compound that caught fire and burned down. This was on April 19, 1993, and many people died. As you can tell by many of these cults, all of the believers seem to believe that this was their religion. Now, our religion is defined by Webster's Dictionary as people's beliefs and opinions concerning the existence, nature, and worship of deities or another plain deity and divine involvement in the universe and human life. It's a set of strong-held beliefs, values, and attitudes that someone lives by. If you consider this, you might think, what is the difference between a religion and a cult? And are cults really religions, or are religions just cults? That's all for today. Thanks for watching Crash Course World History. I'm John Green. The Thought bu Bubble was done by Kinsey and Kelly. The producer was Kylie Danahy, and the open letter was by Caroline Adams. Have a great day.